Over the last several days, there have been quite a few developments in regard to COVID-19. In fact, we've seen everything from news about new variants to some inmates finally being vaccinated. Our Mariah Gallegos has a breakdown of some of the biggest stories from the week. Since we've opened up vaccination to everyone 16 years old and older at the beginning of last week, we've had 2.6 million doses been reported, and that's more than 10% of all eligible Texans who have gotten a shot in the last 10 days. More Texans being vaccinated, one of the top discussions recently as younger individuals make their way in line. Imelda Garcia with the State Health Services discussed this, among other topics, in this week's update from the state. There is a significant reduction in the amount of Johnson & Johnson being allocated to the state. Including the recent limit on J&J &J vaccines as the company scales back on their distribution to states. Still, local leaders are emphasizing to get whichever shot is available near you. Have we identified any South Africa and Oasis? Not yet, but we believe that it'll be here soon because we know in Texas there are less than 10 cases of the B1351 and it spreads very rapidly. Annette Rodriguez with the City County Health District saying other COVID-19 variants pose a threat as we continue battling the spread of the virus. Among those allocating shots for more more people locally, Aransas County is setting some aside for inmates. I cannot force an inmate to take the vaccine. However, while they're incarcerated here, I am responsible for their medical well-being and feel like I cannot withhold any medical attention that they would be entitled to if, if they were out and free. Sheriff Bill Mills says if there are any left over, they then check in with city members to distribute them to homebound seniors and community members. You can stay updated with COVID-19 related news on our show and website, kjrbalai.tv.com. Mariah Gallegos, 3 News.